anti-gravity aircraft. UFOs are real. UAPs, unidentified anomalous phenomena. This is the new buzzword for UFOs. More and more videos are being revealed from seasoned commercial airline pilots, veterans, and accomplished military pilots showing these UAPs or UFOs. This year, Ryan Graves, a former and respected F-18 pilot for the Navy, spoke to Congress about how he experienced UAPs firsthand. These videos show UFOs flying by F-18s in formation, splinting the formation, and coming too close for comfort. Other videos show UFOs flying at insane speeds that are thought to be humanly impossible. And others show impossible maneuvers made mid-flight, such as right-handed turns at insane speeds. These are unexplainable, inexplicable, and definitely unidentifiable. The U.S. government is working and operating in secrecy, above congressional oversight in regards to these UAPs. There are many accounts from reputable military personnel that have come forward, especially in the last couple of years, and a task force to retrieve more reports has been formed. It has been created to gather reports from people that may be too scared to come forward. Unknown objects are frequently encountered through radar and other instruments. These instruments rarely fail. There are multiple accounts where instruments and visual sightings are cohesive. It even became routine in the military for pre-flight instruction about UAPs and what to do when they were encountered. If UAPs are foreign drones, then it is a national security problem. If they are from other sources, not known to man, then it is a science problem. People deserve to know what's going on and in their skies. What are they? What do they look like? What could they be? UAP sightings. U.S. officials seem to always come out with a statement that UFO sightings are either weather balloons, weather disturbances, or foreign surveillance. Like when the U.S. shot down a spy Chinese weather balloon that was thought to be a surveillance balloon. But how are these people actually describing the UFOs? Ryan Graves, the respected F-18 Navy pilot, described the unidentified flying phenomena as a dark gray cube with a clear sphere around it. He estimated that it was about 15 feet in diameter, and this object split right between his fighter jet and his accompanying pilot's jet. The Pentagon has released several declassified, unidentified flying object videos from military aircraft. These videos show oddly shaped objects that are moving at incredible speeds, rotating slowly, or performing maneuvers that are impossible with current U.S. aircraft. Recently, more than 30 whistleblowers, all of which work for the government and are part of different programs that work closely with UAP phenomena, have given testimony of what they have seen and know about UFOs. Different branches of the government like Customs and Border Protection, are quietly releasing videos of these unidentified objects flying through the air. These are captured by infrared cameras, tracking the UFOs across the sky, like these videos here. They show these objects moving in strange ways in aerospace, some even following fighter jets with ease. Another recording from 2013 shows an object traveling fast, going in and out of water seemingly without losing any speed and then splitting into two over the coast of Puerto Rico. UFO Designs When you think of UFOs, you think of flying saucers, don't you? Pop culture has depicted UFOs as just flying saucers. In July 2022, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office was established. The AARO is a team of experts put together by the U.S. government to lead the efforts to formally address UAPs. They use a data-driven approach and have recently published their findings. The data was gathered based on reports from 1996 to 2023. Nearly half of the reports described the shape of the UFO as a white or silver orb, round or sphere. It appears that this orb is translucent and has no detectable thermal exhaust. The size of the orb is reported to be anywhere from 3 to 13 feet in diameter. Interestingly enough, some reports describe the UFO they saw as a tic-tac-shaped, as was a famous UFO spotted by the U.S. Navy in 2004. Other UFO shapes spotted include rectangles, ovals, triangles, discs, cylinders, squares, and even polygons. 
Some aren't even shapes and are described as fluid-like properties moving through the sky. Thermal signatures of the UFOs include the emission of shortwave or medium-wave infrared light, which is actually invisible to the naked eye. But these types of UFOs are picked up by the special instruments the military and other intelligence agencies possess. This is why there are so many commercial and military pilots coming forward. They aren't crazy, but convinced of what they saw. There is another aircraft that has been spotted and spoken about. This secret black aircraft could be a massive hoax or the biggest technological leap in history. The first aircraft able to fly in the air, in water, and in space. This is the TR-3B. One groundbreaking triangular-shaped aircraft after another, the United States introduced the supersonic SR-71 Blackbird, the stealthy F-117 Nighthawk, and the tailless B-2 Spirit. And now, quite possibly, the super-secret TR-3B. It seems to be so secret, no one knows if it actually exists. Its existence is heavily denied by the Pentagon and U.S. government, but that is part of the government's mantra. They seem to either flat-out deny or spread disinformation about new technology, aircraft, or weapons. By multiple eyewitness accounts, the TR-3B does exist. It is more unconventional and rare than anything the world has ever seen. It is practically invisible to both the human eye and even radars. It flies so efficiently at both subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic speeds, and can even control its own gravity. That is thanks to an anti-gravitational drive propulsion system. It is known that the United States has been working for decades on alternative propulsion systems due to the threat of fossil fuels running dry. In fact, the U.S. has been working on anti-gravity technology for over 70 years. It isn't as such science fiction as some may think. It could possibly be supernuclear powered, having mercury plasma spinning in a pressurized toroidal reactor at 250,000 ATM, or equivalent to 4 million PSI. It's said to be supported by three nuclear thermal hydrogen oxygen thrusters. It all sounds so ludicrous, but so did others when the SR-71 Blackbird was being built. Many U.S. sightings have been loosely connected to the possible TR-3B aircraft. In the 90s, Chuck Clark, an Area 51 enthusiast, was able to film the TR-3B takeoff from the infamous Groom Lake facility. He described the aircraft as having a sharp delta shape with twin tails being about 130 feet long. It taxied out to a lit hangar at 2.30 a.m. and used a lot of runway to take off. It had one red light on top, but the minute the wheels left the runway, the light went off and that was the last I saw of it. A numerous amount of sonic booms that were mysterious and that didn't line up with the flight records of the space shuttle or the SR-71 have been studied. It was studied and analyzed by a former NASA sonic boom expert and the conclusion was that the mysterious sonic booms were created by an aircraft flying at 90,000 feet and traveling at speeds of Mach 4 to Mach 6. This continued to fuel the fire of the existence of the TR-3B, or the Aurora Black Project. Not surprisingly was the amount of money spent. A $10 billion black hole was found in the Air Force's budget. And in 2017, Skunk Works somewhat confirmed they have been working on a research black project for hypersonic flight that was now mature and were beginning to perform test flights. Could this TR-3B be another black project? This could also be the beloved and advanced SR-72 Dark Star. Could this be what NASA is testing for with the Quest? The quiet sonic boom for stealth purposes. It seems the government is slowly but surely releasing once taboo topics and making them the norm. Look up and watch out for those UAPs or UFOs. Till next time, warheads.